Welcome XR developers. The wait is finally over. The Lynx R1 has finally shipped to early Kickstarter backers, and we from the Black Whale Studio were lucky enough to get our hands on one of the very first ones. With the Lynx we finally get a device that offers true mixed reality with its color pass-through cameras. Also, what's really interesting with the Lynx is that we don't need any account to use the device and the whole platform is completely open all the way down to the hardware. This means we can finally access the data of all our sensors. To know more, definitely take a look at the Lynx R1 technical specifications page. The link is in the description. It is also a device based on the Android operating system and supports Unity, as well as OpenXR right out of the box. It is also optimized for the use with the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit and its brand new XR Hands package, which means porting over your existing games will be a breeze. Now, let's go through the setup and how to use the hand tracking, as well as how to switch between AR and VR mode. Let's dive in. First of all, I recommend you to create a profile on the Lynx portal where you can find all the documentation, as well as the download page for the Unity SDK and more. Now we are finally ready to start our Unity setup. We set up a new Unity project with any version from 2021.3, as suggested by the documentation. We have just set up our black whale visuals here with the Lynx mascot. Then we go to the downloads page and download the Unity 3D SDK. We unzip the folder and in there we will find four Unity packages. The all-in-one package consists of the core package that contains all the scripts needed to build an application for the Lynx R1 headset, a modules package that at the moment mainly consists of the hand tracking features but will later contain additional features developed by the team to ease application development and a samples package that contains example scenes that highlight the available features in the core and modules components. Since we will cover all the parts in today's video, let's import all of those packages. Now, let's go over the requirements to use the Lynx SDK. The first requirement is to use the appropriate Unity version as stated before, any version from 2021.3 is recommended. Then we need to install some additional packages, mainly the OpenXR and the XR Interaction Toolkit packages. We will use the hand tracking later, so it is also required to install the XR Hands and the UltraLeap hand tracking packages. Lynx enables us to automize this process. In your menu, just go to Lynx, then Settings, and then click on Install Packages which is going to install all the packages mentioned previously. Your editor may reload when installing OpenXR for the first time. To build an application for the Lynx R1, we have to adjust some project settings. For this, go to Lynx, then Settings, and then Configure Project Settings. We get a list of settings that will be changed and can then validate it. Note that enabling OpenXR from code can be unstable. We check if everything worked by going to Project Settings and then down to the XR plugin management and open the OpenXR. Make sure OpenXR as well as the Lynx focus group is enabled there. Enable OpenXR on PC and Android and make sure to fix all the warnings that are shown in the OpenXR settings. Now, as Lynx is based on OpenXR and XRI, you can use already existing assets and samples for XR. We will just remove the main camera and create a new XR origin. Alright, now we want to finally see the pass-through, but to toggle between AR and VR we need an input, namely some hand tracking. We already imported the modules package that contains the Ultra Leap hand tracking package. We can now super simply add hand tracking to our scene by either going to links in our menu or simply right-clicking into our hierarchy, then select links, then inputs, and then add hand tracking. A pop-up window should now appear where we can select the XR interactors we want to use. Lastly, click on add to add the hand tracking features to our XR rig. Perfect. Before we now add our AR VR toggle, let's quickly cover another important thing. Unfortunately, unlike meta devices, on the links we cannot easily exit apps by pinching our fingers. Instead, we need to create our own menu. Luckily, Lynx has already prepared a menu for us that will be opened and closed by clicking the hardware button on our headset. 
we can easily add the menu again, either by right-clicking into our hierarchy, or by going to the menu bar on Links, and then select Add Links Menu. Make sure to also import Text Mesh Pro. Awesome! Now that we know how a basic scene setup looks like, let's now look at VR and AR modes. Links has already prepared a perfect sample scene for us, which is the hand tracking scene. Here we can toggle between VR and AR mode by clicking a button with our fingers. To see how this works, let's quickly go to the OpenXR settings in the XR plugin management. Here you can access the custom Links settings. In these settings, you can simply check if you want to start in AR mode. If it is unchecked, you will just start in VR mode. Then we have the option to disable our skybox in AR mode. We then have three different layers. Only VR layer means that game objects having this layer index will only be displayed in VR and are hidden in AR. Only AR layer means that game objects having this layer index only be displayed in AR and are hidden in VR. You should create the matching layer for both if it does not exist. Visible in full AR tag means that game objects having this tag will still be visible in full AR. Other objects are disabled. To create your own only VR and only AR layers, just go to the inspector and create a layer at index 10 as well as index 11. It doesn't matter what you call it. To visualize this feature, let's create two cubes and assign these two layers to them. In code, it is super easy to check your mode and set your device into a certain mode. You can find all the relevant information in the links documentation. In short, by typing links api.isar or isvr, you can check whether the device is currently in AR or VR mode. Similarly, by typing links api.setar or setvr, you can easily set your device into the desired mode. Then, so you don't always have to check the mode, Links lets you simply access the on AR VR changed event, as you can see here. Now, even easier and what they used in this example when we open up the sample manager is to simply call links api.toggle AR. Fantastic, guys. We basically already covered the whole, still pretty small, links documentation. Now, the last thing is missing, which is how do we actually test the scene now on our links device? For this, links has created their own software called Demo Manager. Let's download it from the Downloads page. Keep in mind though, that this software is only compatible with Windows at the time of recording. Awesome! Make sure to create a build of your app and then plug your device into your computer and start the Demo Manager app. Refresh the device search and select your device. Below you can see that we can choose from a list of devices. Before we can select our app, of course we have to install it. For that, go to the Applications tab and select Upload and APK. Then we can go back to Demos, enter the first few letters of our package name into the filter and select our app and start it. You can check your package name in the player settings. Amazing guys, you are now able to start and stop your app from the demo manager or directly inside your headset. Now it's your turn. Get more ideas for your own apps by looking at the other sample scenes that we imported as part of the samples package. Inside your device, enable the developer mode, and if you want to export footage of your experience, also allow file transfer, with links providing you with all sensor data, and by having a ready-to-use hand tracking scene that can switch between VR and AR, there are no limits to your imagination. Let us know what you want to see next, and we hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. This will help us make more such content. Please consider subscribing to our Patreon, or for more information or any questions, feel free to join our growing XR developer community on Discord. We can't wait to see what you guys will build. Thanks so much for watching, and see you in the next video.